So you've chosen the HID projector and shroud. The last couple things you'll need is the HID kit and possibly a wire relay harness. Now what's important to look out for when choosing the HID kit is the bulb type and the color temperature of that bulb. The projector will determine what bulb type you need. So if you have an MH1 6.0 projector, that one uses an H1 bulb. So you need to look for an HID kit with an H1 bulb. If you have an MD2S or our FX Pro or Evo XR projector, those three all use a D2S bulb. So you need to look for a D2S bulb with your HID kit. So the second thing to consider is the color temperature of your bulb. We found that anything between 4300K and 6000K is the best in terms of visibility on the road. Anything above 6000K does not produce any further visibility due to its color. You're starting to get into the blue, the purple, and possibly even the greens if you get into the really high color temperatures. So I mentioned you may need a wire relay harness. Your relay harness hooks up the HID kit with the rest of the car and also prevents anything bad from happening to the HID kit if there was an electrical issue. What you need to look for is if your car has one ball that is for low and high beam, you will need a wire relay harness that can hook up the solenoid from the HID projector so that you can still keep your high beam capabilities. So there you have it. The three components you'll need are the HID projectors, the shrouds, the HID kit, and possibly a wire relay harness. I'll leave a link below in the description for the HID kit and the wire relay harness I feel is best value for retrofitting. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I hope this has helped answer some of the questions, and I'll catch you in the next one.